Hey, what's going on everybody? Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. It is only two days until the big update, the big reveal of literally all kinds of new content from Jack Skellington to a whole new valley and I couldn't be any more excited. And we're going to take a look over at Reddit today and uh, take a look at some of the things going on over there. And we're also going to evaluate the uh, map for the entire next valley because it looks like it's gonna be a lot bigger than we thought. Now, if you guys do enjoy this video or you're super excited for the new update, please be sure to hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel, and let's go take a look at Scrooge's shop before we jump into a uh, Reddit. Alrighty, I have not had anything good in a while. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? We have a basic uh -huh. pale wood side table. That is the most basic item I have ever seen. That thing is pitiful. <laughs> I'm gonna buy it though. Uh, what else? What else? We have- Oh wow, I actually got two torches. This would have been a great day if I didn't have these. Like, if you were a new player, those are some great items. We have a modern couch, a more modern couch. I already have this, but how cool would that have been? Again, like I had Vine Wall a couple days ago and now I have Ursula's Throne. Why does this stuff pop up when multiplayer is not here? I would have loved to give that to somebody that doesn't have it. Oof, alrighty, let's go take a look at Reddit. Alrighty, so our very first post is from our good friend Cole over here. He said, update hoarding. So many, uh, so maybe this is an unpopular opinion, but I see a lot of people saying that they're just hoarding and hoarding and hoarding all the items on our current valley right now for the update. My thing is we are getting a huge aisle with three large new biomes and new things to collect and gather and hoard. And the new characters are from that aisle, not our valley. Not to mention that the storyline quest and um, leading up to whatever is what we are doing for Jafar. So I feel like the items for the quest and all are going to be from the aisle for the expansion pass, not our valley. Um, yeah, and the developers are going to want to space out some content. So why people are hoarding? I think it's the same reason that I'm hoarding. Because I agree 100% a lot of the quests are going to revolve around... Um, the items found within this valley, you know, the new fruit trees, the new vegetables, the new crops, everything like that, and uh, new gems, new resources. I fully believe that, but I also still think a lot of things are going to require iron. They're going to require, you know, softwood and things like that. We could get a new wood type within this uh, biome, but I think it's just a matter of preparing just in case. Because say you didn't pre prepare and get like a gems or iron and then you come to the new valley and you need a lot of that stuff it's just going to be a shame if you didn't prep and then also another thing is say you have to get like a specific gem from this valley to craft something like some automation but then what if you have to use like iron ingots or glass or gems from the old valley to power these machines that way you know if you buy the expansion you're still playing on both and then also, there's also just the free path. Like a lot of players are not even going to buy the expansion pass. So they're still hoarding for the next update because we still have, you know, Jack Skellington's quest and who knows what else and like what other surprises they're going to bring. So I think that's one reason people hoard. I just do it just to be prepared just in case, because if I go ahead and hoard all of those items, iron and, you know, like all that stuff from the first valley, I can put all of my focus on the second valley. That way I always have the stuff from the valley. I don't want to get put in a situation where I'm collecting stuff on the new valley, but I also need a specific amount or a gem or a certain type of flower from the old one and then have to like disrupt my gameplay over here to go all the way back to the first valley just to collect that. So that's my thinking behind it. I'm not sure um, what other people's things are. We also have the star path we'll have to be grinding for and things like that, you know, like, like giving out gifts. Maybe Gaston will want something like a specific flower or Rapunzel from the first valley. Uh, I don't know. I just want to be extra prepared. But I do want to take a look at this map. I've never actually sat down and looked at this. Now, they said that this map with just these three biomes are the size, like, equivalent to all like eight biomes from the first map which is actually really insane so this is the first area that we're going to land at they they already told us that you know where these docks are and stuff so we're going to come here you have like this whole section right here that we're going to be able to decorate with 
we have this section here. And then if you look, there are some stairs that go up to another. They said there was like extra elevation on this map compared to the first one where it's pretty much just flat. So then we're going to be able to go up to like another plateau area. You can come out right here, more places to decorate. Then we're going to be able to go up again. And then there's a little patch here. And then it looks like kind of like some beach over here. And I'm not really seeing a way to get to this section here because it doesn't look like there's stairs or pathing right there. It is strange that there's so much emphasis on the water down here. It almost takes up like almost like half, like a third of the map. And then we somehow will be able to come out on this side over here, which I guess we go through this little structure. Maybe there's a tunnel there. And then you have another giant area. So this first biome is actually pretty big. It's like broken up into smaller chunks, though. And then I'm imagining you go through this tunnel right here. And then it's going to take you out to this location where you have a path that goes up to the rainforest. And then over here, to, there is a path that leads to the desert. Now, if you look over in this biome, we have one, two, possibly three different bridges. And it is also broken up into many different areas. Yeah, there's like a path right here and then a path right here. So I think it's like a different type of bridge. And then there's rivers running through this side all the way down here. You have another massive area with a giant like pond, like a waterfall, big area right here. And what's cool is there is like three paths that will take you between the desert biome and this other biome. So you have this one right here so you can go to desert. You have one here in the middle that transitions from the rainforest to the desert you can go up through here and then there's another one up here and then there's two sections that lead to like i guess the place that jafar is taking over you know the castle so you can go up through this side and then there's a path that goes up on this side now they did state that this was originally like one giant biome and then it got disrupted from like jafar meddling with uh, space and time so that's why it's like split and now it's like a desert now on the desert side, we have a giant area right here. And the only water that is in this section is a small patch of grass, which is, I guess, part of how, you know, it did used to be one giant biome and now it's like smashed together. So maybe that's why we have a little bit of grass, a waterfall and a pond on this side. And then there's a path that goes up here. And then there's just a lot of elevation for sure. And I'm really curious what this big red patch is. I wonder if that's just a wall you can't actually go to. Or if there's like another cave system. Kind of like the Vitalis Mines. I could definitely see there being a cave system over in the desert. But yeah, this map looks massive. Like it's, it's crazy because we're used to having like eight different biomes. Like kind of small. But imagine the valley we have now split up into three massive biomes. I don't know. Like, I'm so excited to see what this is going to look like. But I never really took a minute to look at this. And this is way bigger than I thought it would be. Someone said, me getting ready to immediately befriend all monkeys. You know, I was thinking about, like, what kind of stuff we're going to have to feed, like, the snake um the monkeys and stuff do you think it really would be just bananas i mean it, it might be good to get a, a stack of 50 bananas at least i would think that's what they would want to eat that's how you would do it but then at the same time kind of like cole was saying in his first post you would think that there would be a new item over there that you would have to harvest to be able to like tame the monkeys and and things like that so i don't know i'm definitely going to go and uh, get me some bananas because the monkeys are like the first companion i'm going the capybaras are cute the snakes are pretty cool but the monkeys are just the best Oh my gosh, Wally's Garden, someone made it all pumpkins. I hate to admit how many months I spent trying to make it all pumpkins, but today was a big day. <laughs> That's how you know we need new content. We're literally out here just making pumpkins, like all pumpkin Wally Garden, which is actually pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. So I guess you have to just wait for a pumpkin to spawn, collect everything else, let it respawn until you get another pumpkin, and then keep doing that over and over until you manage to completely fill it in. That's some dedication. I usually don't do much upvoting, but I'll give an upvote to that because that took a long, long time. Someone said Pocahontas. I would really like them to add Pocahontas to the game. Pocahontas is my favorite Disney princess, and I really hope they will eventually add her to the game. I'm sure she's just around the river. <laughs> I think she is coming to the valley. And we have, like with the recent update, they actually added a new category when you can filter, like in furniture mode and stuff, for Pocahontas. So 
I do think that she'll be coming. Honestly, she might be a surprise character. I could see her being a surprise character on the free to play path. I don't think she's going to be behind a paid DLC, but uh, yeah, she would definitely bring a whole new vibe to the Valley and I would be very happy for her to come to the game. Oh my gosh, a uh, flying monkeys couldn't stop us. Someone set up Wizard of Oz. We have the Scarecrow, the Lion, the Tin Man, Dorothy. Look how beautiful this is. Look how many flowers they placed down. That had to have taken literally forever. They set this up with some vine walls back here. They got the yellow brick road leading to the castle. That would be cool to lead to the nightmare castle too. But this is beautiful. This is why I am so hyped. I know I say it like every day, but this is the reason I am so hyped for Valley Tours because you guys are so creative. Even look at this little section with the well that leads to Mirabelle's home. This is incredible. I bet you could take some amazing dream snap photos in this. Whoever's Valley this is, you gotta let me come tour it. And then the last but not least, a very simple but interesting question. Something I know a lot of people are going to want to know. The expansion. What time does the expansion come out on Tuesday? When can I download it on Xbox? Thank you. Now, I want to answer this because I get this question a lot in my comment section. And also about pre-orders. So, as of right now, you cannot pre-order it. You can wishlist it on Steam, but it doesn't really tell you when it's coming out. The only hint that we have to the release time is over here on Steam. It says a planned release date December 5th, 2023. It says uh, the game plans to unlock approximately one day and 18 hours. Now it is 1.07 p.m. for me here. So 18 hours from now would be 7.07 p.m. The reset time for me normally is 8 a.m., right? So every week it usually resets at 8 a.m. The Steam page right now is telling me that it's going to release at 7 a.m. my time. So is it going to be earlier this time? Possibly. So I would say around that time on December 5th, maybe check an hour before normal reset. And if it's not up then, they're probably going to release it on the normal time. But I do think it's going to be earlier in the day or at least for my time. Um, I will be streaming it, of course, and we'll be starting the stream earlier than this time because I want to make sure that... Uh, we get um, ready just to be prepared for anything. They could also release a couple hours after if there's some delays and stuff. But so far, you can't pre-order. You can't buy it. And this goes for all platforms right now. So as of December 3rd, um, nothing. They haven't announced anything on Twitter or release time or anything like that. And I think they're just playing it safe in case there are issues around it. But it would be nice. So, um, yeah, to answer that question, no one can pre-order right now, and we don't know the exact time, but I would say it would be around the normal reset time. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have a really wonderful day. Like I said, we just have two more days until the update. I'm super hyped. I will be pumping out guides, of course, like I do every update, so be sure that you stick around the channel. I hope you guys have literally the best day, and I'll see you in the next one.